I'm obsessed with Twix bars because you get the cookie, the caramel, the chocolate all in one. Hey guys, I'm Myra from Low Carb Love and today we're making one of my childhood favorite candies but without all the carbs or the sugar. So the first layer of a Twix bar is the shortbread cookie. So of course we are going to make the low carb version which we have some almond flour. We're just throwing in the dry ingredients into our first bowl because we are going to do a dry and wet mixture. And then we have our sweetener. Here for the sweetener, I'm just using some allulose. And when it comes to baking, I really do prefer using the powdered sweetener just because I don't wanna feel those granular crystals in my baking goods. So we have our dry mixture. We're just gonna set that aside and move on to our wet mixture. So I'm just gonna use the same bowl. We have our butter, egg, vanilla. Now this is softened. Okay, you don't want melted butter because then it will totally change the texture of your cookie. You just want it to be softened. And we're gonna put that right into our bowl. Then we have our vanilla extract. For something like this, because it's so minimal, like the ingredients are so minimal, I would definitely use like more of an extract versus a flavoring, just because it's gonna be like a richer vanilla taste. But if all you have is the flavoring, like vanilla flavor, then you can totally use that. It's still gonna work. This is more, it's uh, more about like the flavor versus whether or not it'll work. Okay, and then we have our egg. Just one egg. Now I'm just gonna use a hand whisk, but you can use your stand mixer, like whatever you have on hand. And if all your ingredients are room temperature, it just makes it a lot easier to, for everything to just get well incorporated. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our dry ingredients. We're just gonna toss in our wet and mix everything together. And this is gonna give us our shortbread cookie. So a shortbread cookie is gonna end up, it's gonna give you like a really buttery um, inside with a nice crisp on the outside. So this is perfect. Obviously we're using it for this recipe, but these are delicious just to have on hand with your coffee, tea. Um, just if you're a cookie lover, I'm telling you, shortbread cookies are so good. So I wanna show you guys the texture just so when you're making it at home, you can see what you're looking for. So it is definitely like very spreadable, not crumbly at all. Just nice and smooth, almost like silky, you know? And I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt. This is completely optional. I just really like how the salt enhances the flavors of the cookie. Now we're gonna use these chocolate molds and I'll leave them linked for you in the description below. These are silicone. I love using silicone when it comes to baking because things just don't stick. Um, so these are gonna work out perfectly. I'm still gonna spray them just because I like things to just kind of slide off. But um, with silicone, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna spray with a little avocado oil. And we are going to I don't want my cookie too thick, and I also don't want it like too thin. I want it just right in the middle. I'm just gonna put the dough into each mold, and then I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it out just so that we get them pretty even. Okay, so here I'm using just a pastry spatula to try and even everything out. Now, I'm making mine pretty thin. If you want like more of a crunch in your Twix bar, then I would just make the cookie a little bit thicker. So we made our cookie layer as even as possible. Now, the only thing you wanna make sure is that your oven is preheated to 300 degrees because of course you don't wanna go through all this and then have to wait for your oven to preheat. We're gonna get these in there 10 minutes. I'm gonna show you how they should look when they're ready to come out these in here. Ooh, I'm super excited. Okay, so now we're gonna get started on our caramel sauce. Of course, we are making it low carb, homemade, super simple. We're gonna start off with our maple syrup. So I use a sugar-free maple syrup. This is the one from Chalk Zero. I'll leave it linked in the description below for you. This only has one gram of carbs per serving. You see that texture? My gosh, it's like, Perfect texture, nice and thick. I'm actually just doing a cup of this. Now we're gonna add in our sweetener. And this is just allulose. Okay, we're gonna give this a good mix before we add in our other ingredients. So now we're gonna go ahead and toss in our butter and heavy cream. 
Okay, and lastly, we're just gonna do a pinch of salt. Now let's go ahead and mix. And I want you to see how our caramel syrup is made. Okay, so now everything is well incorporated. Now what I'm gonna do is just put this on a medium low heat and we're just gonna let it simmer until it thickens and gets nice and sticky. Okay, so our caramel sauce is all done. Look at this texture. Perfect. Okay, our cookies are done as well. So now we're moving on to the next step. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pour our caramel layer right over our cookie. Okay, so we have our cookie layer, our caramel layer. Now we're gonna let this set in the fridge for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then we're gonna do our final chocolate layer. Okay, so our two layers are done. Now we're gonna go ahead and start popping them out, and we're gonna dip them into our melted chocolate. Do you guys see how easy this pops off? This is exactly why I love using silicone molds for everything, even for my cakes. So we have our bars on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. These will go back into the freezer after we dip them in chocolate. Okay, so our chocolate's already melted. I actually just melted this in the microwave. I did about 20 second increments. You just wanna be careful with your chocolate because chocolate's really, really delicate. And if you burn it, there's kind of like no turning back. So it's better to take your time, melt your chocolate, and then it's just better to be safe than sorry. So this one here is the um, sugar-free chocolate chips by Chalk Zero, and I'll leave them linked in the description below. I do have a discount code, which is low carb love, so you guys can always use that when purchasing Chalk Zero. Okay, so I'm using tongs just to help me dip this, like submerge the cookie into the chocolate, because if not, <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna make a hot mess with my hands. Place this right on our parchment. Okay, so our bars look perfect. We're gonna go ahead and put them back into the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're set. Look at this. Wow. Perfect. Okay, we're going right into the taste test. Oh my gosh, they're delicious. Mmm. Wow. So to describe the texture and flavors here, the outer chocolate part is like the perfect shell, kind of like that hard shell. Then you have the, the cookie that's like a buttery, it's just like this buttery layer that is like, it just pairs so well with the chocolate and then take it over the edge with the caramel sauce. Guys, it is so like, it's like the perfect chew with crisp and then you have the butteriness with the chop with the cookie. Like, no, this is a 10 out of 10. I'm telling you, like, I even had to like take a step back, like, wait a minute, like, let me describe this because I want you guys to really just get the feel for what I'm tasting right now. All right, guys, I'm telling you right now, this is one that you have to go make, especially if you're a Twix or just a sweets lover. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button and don't forget to share not only this recipe, but the channel with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you just know would be absolutely obsessed with this recipe. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.